And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nocturne Nightfall. It's been a long time since we've played a Nocturne deck. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that today. We're just going to play Nocturne in the traditional deck with all of the other Nightfall cards, pairing Nocturne with Targon and with Diana with just all the other uh, Nightfall cards. So pretty stock list here. Um, you know, just grabbed it from Mobilitic stats page. Pretty stock um, Nightfall deck. Nothing too, nothing too spicy about this one, but still, Nocturne's a pretty spicy champion that we haven't played in a while. So let's go ahead and get to the games. Not too much to say about the deck. Let's just play our five games. We're going to try them out over in Ranked. We're going to try our new KDA board with the deck. All right, more Trundle Trindamir. I think this is the sixth time playing against Trundle Trindamir in 11 games. It's either the fifth or sixth time. One of those two. This is a difficult deck to play. The, you, you really need to play this deck a lot to kind of master it with like how to sequence all of these Nightfall cards and everything. So I will admit that I'm probably not going to be sequencing this the best because of that. All right, we're going to just get rid of those two cards. I like having Soldier, Soldier on one, Mountain Goat on two. Ours is the one true light. Follow the horizon. And then we'll kind of see from there. We're gonna click over to the third song. Yesterday we listened to like the first and second song quite a bit. I noticed that whenever I was editing. Let's go to the third song. All right, planning on playing that and Shade Stalker. And I know the the one one kills the the two two, but or the two one, but that's just how it is. All right. That's fine, so Unspeakable Horror doesn't get any kind of bonus. So that is good. So I could... Uh, basically I just wanted to heal that so it doesn't die to a 1 damage thing, another 1 damage thing, or another Withering Whale. But, you know, Avalanche doesn't make that the best play. Oh, alright. No Avalanche. No nothing. We'll take the win. One to know. Switched over to that third song. Won pretty quickly. More Trundle Trindamir. <laughs> Doesn't seem like people are too original these days. Alright, we're going to have Solari Soldier, Mountain Goat again. Turn three, do I want another Mountain Goat? Yeah. Sets up to be pretty poor against Avalanche if I just keep all of these. I don't know, like Mountain Goat's not bad, but yeah, hopefully they just don't have Avalanche. We need to head back over to the third song. The third song was clutch last time. I feel like I was supposed to mulligan that mountain goat. Please no avalanche. Yay, no avalanche. Real good Vile Piece.
as you can see them playing Trundle. And then uh, we'll do this. Challenge Trundle with a 2 2. Alright, down to one. So they're still alive. For now. For now. We can kind of pass. Right, and then just go to attackers this next turn. Don't really have to do anything. See what other Nightfall card we get. Oh, I played the Nocturnes one. Oh, I meant to play the regular one. Whoops. I was thinking maybe we get like the five-three Overwhelm, or even just like another Lunari Shade Stalker, like something else like that that we get to open attack with. Eclipse Dragon. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. To stay alive. Nocturne level up. My patience wanes. Alright, so that's one of the lethal attackers. Two more of the lethal attackers. We still got another one. There we go, Diana with the lethal. 2 0. Oh my gosh, it's just, there's just like one deck right now. Well, uh, well we're 2 now so far, so I shouldn't be complaining. Um, these cards are all good. This is a slower hand. But I don't dislike any of these cards. Hello. We head on over to our third song. It's been clutch for us. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. By the moon's crescent lane. So good avalanche for them. Really hope they don't have a one one damage spell also to go along with it. Hey, tilted twenty two eleven with the raid. Welcome everybody from tilted stream. We're here playing Legends of Runeterra like we always do. Having a good time. Um, this is our schedule up on the top left. We play playing four different decks today. We're currently on the third one. We play five games with each deck. We're on Nocturne Nightfall. So the question, like, so I could just like play the Nocturne here so that we get to open attack. Come, a new phase awaits. Or I play Stalking Shadows and look for a two mana card. I think I'm just gonna play the, the Nocturne. We don't get the, the cool ability of the granted enemy vulnerable. Well, that's all right. I'll take 
the present guardian. Behind you. Oh, I guess I could have targeted the Solari soldier. Oh no, it's only three out of four. Okay, I thought that was gonna be four out of four. Never mind, it's just three out of four. Didn't level up Diana to save Diana. Alright, so they're at 9. Cool. Got a new Diana. We actually, you know, like we have just as many cards in hand as they do. Alright, I'm planning on playing Crescent Guardian. That's a good avalanche. It's a really good avalanche. Diana's the one that doesn't really care if you activate her at nightfall or not. Chosen of the moon. My it's always cold in the Freljord. You've heard that War Mothers is the worst matchup for Nightfall? Well, that's all that's all we've played so far. We're currently 2-0. The this one's not quite War Mothers though. The other two were War Mothers. This one's a little different. Leave your bags at the door. The full moon awakens the soul. Just five mana over there. Nice. They went and grabbed another trundle. Going down to five. I have no idea. I, I'm surprised the 08's not blocking the. I'm, I'm really surprised the 08's not blocking that. Moonlight to guide. be honest. Alright, down to three. I got some Nexus damage in hand. You know they have one trundle. No, I didn't want to grab pillar because I didn't want to. I don't want to do damage to pillar. I'd rather do damage to the nexus. I'm. I'm really glad they didn't block with with the pillar. I'm surprised they didn't, but glad they didn't. in our time of They could have Catalyst of Aeons. Yeah. That's that's what kind of normally happens. We get them down close like this, and then they have Catalyst of Aeons. Right, let's get another Nightfall card. Yes, the dragon. The dragon's awesome. Okay. Do I play other stuff or simply attack? Playing other stuff. So let's see, if their plan's Trundle, like if their plan's Ruination, yeah, Ruination we're good against. Trundle, this kills the Trundle. Yeah, I think we just play other stuff. I think this makes sense to do this. Ugh. Revitalizing Roar is annoying. We have zero mana Ledros.
I wish I would have had both of these um, unspeakable horrors just kill the O2 instead of doing the, the Nexus damage. Would have just killed the O2. Would be looking a lot better. I think I still I don't regret whatsoever playing the stuff first. It, would, it wasn't gonna be that hard for them to stay alive, and then play the roar and do the stuff post combat. So this is still the best for me. I I do regret doing the first unspeakable horror, doing one damage to them and not the one damage to the wording stones. Because if we would have done one damage to the wearing stones last turn, we would have done one damage to the wearing stones My here. They would be at wings. 13, but they wouldn't be able to block this eclipse dragon, and that would be you know like this would be representing lethal still. But even if they would stay alive, it'd be a lot more damage. So that's that's the thing I regret. I I certainly considered it. Certainly considered that last game. Or last turn. Yeah, we didn't know we would have the Eclipse Dragon. The Lunari will not live in fear. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so the Twisted Callista deck is going to be a Shadow Isles based deck that um, is kind of a janky combo deck. We're going to be trying to have Shipwreck Hoarder. I always forget the name of that card. All right, so we're going to try to have Shipwreck Hoarder and try to get that in play. Just generic things. Generic cards are good, I suppose. So we're going to try to get Shipwreck Hoarder in play and then also try to level up Callista and so that whenever Callista attacks, it's putting Shipwreck Hoarder into play, which puts more treasures into our deck. And so we have a bunch of treasures. Their sense travels on the night air. Mother moon It's our time. Please don't have misfortune. Break their spirit. Alright, that's not misfortune. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Run them through. A real battle. All right, so I know unspeakable horror would kill that and keep my um, keep my two one alive, but I'm just gonna play this other elusive. I don't think there's anything I can do about Ranger's Resolve. Hooray! Just hope they don't have it. Basically. And I'm planning on having my Unspeakable Horror kill half the Grizzled Ranger. Slow down, will you? Temperamental as moonlight. That's half of one Grizzled Ranger. Tried to blind me with resplendence, but they could not break me. Ooh, Dusk Rider could be good. Could be good. Sisters. 
All right, hopefully something that helps turn on these Nightfall cards. Mm. Arise in our time of need. You're covered. The full moon awakens the soul. Night descends. So does it make sense to attack with all these other things when they have this barrier card? Probably not. Oh, that's barriered. That's okay, you know, like we're trading our our two mana. I mean obviously that we that's not ideal, we wouldn't like that, but that's still like a pretty good trade. Not as good of, of trade. We're saying things that are and are not good trades. That one's not as good. I guess I just play them next turn, which means you know, we're not playing the thing that we draw, unless it's like a fading memories. Ranger's Resolve, right? Like, that card's not Ranger's Resolve that they have over there. I don't think it is. Defend our banner. Rally? It's Rally. Alright, so that's not bad. I'll take them having a Rally. Oh, Blinding Assault? Was that the card? I wasn't... I didn't look. So I think I want to play... Yeah, I want to play Nocturne on my turn. So I guess we just wait. I'm probably getting Crescent Guardian. As my other card. I'm just going to let this happen. Gonna let all that happen. They will all scream as one. There we go, GG's. Then we're gonna play our other two things. They don't get to block. And we got it. Three and one. Timo Zed. Cool. Probably a Kinku Wayfinder deck with a bunch of elusives and things like that. We just unlocked this new emote. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, Fading Memories could actually be good. Fading Memories Onlooker. It's basically just... You just keep them all. Slogging Shadows is a little slow, which is why I went to Mulligan that. We have to, we're going to have to be fast here. Um, Fading Memories is, is basically one mana decimate with the Onlooker, that combo. Quietly. 
Alright, so I'm going Soldier plus Onlooker. Keep the fading memories they can turn on. Nightfall. Mm. Nah, we don't, we don't need these. Fading memories yet. No more hiding. This one's trouble. Do you get a survey about the game? Ask what we like the game in general. I I think like a super super long time ago. I don't not recently. But that sounds like something that we did a, a long time ago. Fast as wind, light as air. Gives me another three power attacker to attack in right now. That's not very big. Extra hands never hurt. No, never do. They never do. Do this. We've got plenty of cards. As long as we don't die in this race. We have plenty of cards. We were peaceful once. I want to be able to have Pillcast Cascade available, so I'm looking at either. You know, the Ephemeral Doom Beast or the Onlooker. The Onlooker gives me two Pale Cascades. I guess we I think we save Onlooker for next turn. Let's go with the Doom Beast. Because this is just a good a good time for me to be using that, I think. Shadow Assassin. Before it dies. Alright, they're down to five. Have to attack right away because my shadow assassin. Nope, I can't. All right, so we got eight more puff caps. Deny. Yeah, I guess I probably should have done the unspeakable before taking damage, shouldn't I? Okay, it would have gotten notified. So, all good. <laughs> they were going to notify it. Solari Soldier. Well, I messed up. Wait. No, I didn't. 
So I don't get to have Pale Cascade available. So we can have Nocturne or Pale Cascade. Nocturne's probably better than Pale Cascade. Um, then we have Gem. What do I want a gem? Undecided. I guess this thing. All right, and G and G's, four and one. Another four and one for Nocturne Nightfall. Yeah, this deck's pretty good. These, uh, as we talked about at the very beginning, whenever we started playing this deck, this is not like the easiest deck to pilot. Like you're, you're gonna have to, like how to sequence all these Nightfall cards is, isn't, um, always easy all the time of just like, you know, play the one one drop on one, play the two drop on two kind of thing. Sometimes it works out like that, but especially later on in the game of like saving cards for, for when you need to play them and, and everything, it's pretty tricky. I I am not a master at this deck at all. <laughs> you know, I haven't played it that much, but I was pretty happy with how we were sequencing there. Uh, but lots of power. These cards, Stalking Shadows, Unspeakable Horror, as you all know, these are two of just my favorite cards. These cards are just so good, um, especially Unspeakable Horror in a deck like this. Lots of closing speed in here. And uh, yeah, I was very impressed. I was very impressed with how good this deck is. Um, so... Uh, there we go. All right, so that's Nocturne Nightfall. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, please leave those comments. Love seeing all those comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.